Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you take control of your life through personal development, smart money habits, and entrepreneurship. If those things sound good to you, then please let me know by clicking the like and subscribe buttons down below. Now let's talk about my number one credit card for 2020. The thought that inspired this entire video was I asked myself a question. If I could only have one credit card for the entire year, what would it be? So I went through countless sleepless nights, tossing, turning, wondering what is this one magic credit card that I could have if I could only have that one card. Chase Sapphire Reserve? Nope. Amex Platinum? Nope. City AT&T card? Definitely not. But then I found it. It came in this beautiful, sleek, elegant box, and it was pretty heavy too. And then when I opened the box and looked inside, I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. It was the US Bank Altitude Reserve card. This is the card that I would choose, and now I'll tell you why. But first, some mandatory drop tests. Up high. Down low. Pinwheel. The slide. And O2 casual. And here's the upfront view. Hopefully the camera catches that and focuses well for you all out there. Then there's the side view as well. If you can see the metal strip. And then the reverse of the card too. All right, so why did I choose a credit card that's kind of obscure that most people don't know about as my number one pick? The answer starts now. First of all, you'll earn five points per dollar on prepaid hotels when you book them through the Altitude Rewards Center. You'll also earn five points per dollar on prepaid car rentals through the exact same portal. Triple points on all other travel purchases, including hotels and rental cars that are not prepaid or booked directly. Three points per dollar on dining through the end of the year. Three points per dollar on mobile wallet transactions. And one point per dollar on everything else. Now you'll notice that the 3x on mobile is in yellow, and I put a little emoji next to it. And that one feature right there was enough for me to choose this card as my number one credit card that I would want to have. We'll come right back to it in just a minute. But first, I want to make sure you understand what these points are actually worth. Because if you earn five points per dollar or three points per dollar or one point per dollar, is that good? Is it bad? What is it really worth? This will help you a lot. So the altitude reserve points have a couple different values. One point is worth one cent each when you redeem for cash back. Or if you redeem your points toward travel, they're worth 1.5 cents each. As a simple example, if you accrued 10,000 points, that's worth $100 of cash back or $150 toward travel. 50,000 points would be $500 cash back or $750 toward travel. So with that in mind, we can now go back and begin to see a little bit as to why this card is so great. So those two five point per dollar multiplier categories on prepaid hotels and prepaid rental cars is equal to 5% cash back or 7.5% back when you redeem for travel. The triple point categories on travel, dining, and mobile wallet are equal to 3% cash back, or 4.5% back when you redeem for travel. And then on everything else, you earn 1% cash back, or 1.5% when you redeem for travel. And you'll notice I put that three point per dollar category on mobile wallets in yellow again for the second time, and that same emoji of a little exploding bomb. And now I'll tell you exactly why I decided to do that, and why that one feature alone makes the Altitude Reserve card my number one pick if I could only have one card. All right, here we go. Three points per dollar on all mobile wallet transactions. That means if your grocery store, self-pay restaurants, gas stations, pharmacies, department stores, online retailers, and anybody else who accepts mobile wallet payments, you will earn three points per dollar on all of these merchants, which means you're getting 3% cash back or 4.5% back toward travel on all of these categories and many more. So wherever you see this little logo here that has four curved lines kind of resembling a Wi-Fi signal turned on its side, that means contactless. If your card has contactless tech, you can actually tap your card to pay. But it also means if you add your card to your mobile wallet, namely Apple Pay, Android Pay, Samsung Pay, LG Pay, Google Pay, any of these types of mobile wallets, you add your Altitude Reserve card to those wallets and then you can use your phone to pay. Now when it comes to redeeming your points, there are three major ways to do so. The first method is the real-time rewards. Once you activate this feature, you'll be able to redeem your points instantly after your purchase via your phone as a statement credit. 
Using this method allows your points to be worth one and a half cents each when redeemed for travel. Your purchase must be made directly with the airlines, the hotels, or whatever travel company you're booking with in order for it to work. But do be aware that there's a minimum purchase amount required for both car rentals and lodging, aka your hotel. So with rental cars, you must have a purchase of $250 or more for this feature to work. And for your lodging or hotel purchase, it must be $500 or more. You can also use real-time rewards for non-travel purchases. Your points will be worth a penny a piece in that case, except for gas stations and restaurants. Method number two is using the travel portal through US Bank when you log into your account. You can use your points during the actual purchase. And like we just saw, the points are worth one and a half cents each toward travel. And because this is a portal, you can browse flights, hotels, and other travel experiences just like you would through Expedia or those other third-party sites. This is not subject to the $250 or $500 minimums that we saw with rental cars and lodging respectively. And the third major method to redeem your points is for cash back. There is a minimum amount of 5,000 points or $50, and you must redeem in increments of 5,000 points or $50. And yes, there are other methods available like online shopping with your points, transferring your points to a friend or a charity, etc. But those are the main three methods that will give you great value. The annual fee on this card is extremely high. It's a very ultra premium card at $400, but I'll show you how you can easily justify that cost. First of all, the sign up bonus right now in September 2020 is 50,000 points worth $500 of cash back or $750 toward travel after you spend $4,500 in the first 90 days of card membership. But of course, it gets better. There are a ton of perks and benefits that help offset that fee as well. First of all is a $325 annual travel credit. It can be used toward a wide variety of different travel purchases like airlines, hotels, car rentals, and more. And also through the end of the year, December 31st, 2020, dining purchases also count toward this credit, including restaurants, takeout, and food delivery. Here are a bunch of exclusive perks you get with this card, like airport lounge access through the Priority Pass network, TSA pre-check or global entry credits, complimentary Wi-Fi, meaning you get 12 complimentary go-go uh, in-flight Wi-Fi passes every single year. There are no foreign transaction fees on this card, relay and chateau benefits, world-class service with a dedicated concierge, and much more. This is also a Visa Infinite card which gives you access to a lot of the perks we just went over, including the luxury hotel collection. That's where you get special benefits that kind of resemble VIP status, like complimentary breakfast every single day, an upgrade when it's available, and a special amenity unique to every property. I'll be sure to put the link to all these Visa Infinite benefits in the description below. There are also a ton of insurance and protections that come with this card that are very beneficial when you travel or shop. Going over every one in detail would be another 20 or 30 minute separate video, but I do want to draw your attention to the two that I labeled there in blue. The Auto Rental Collision Damage Waiver is primary coverage, which is extremely valuable. And then the Trip Delay Reimbursement covers you if you've only been delayed for about six hours or longer. And if you'd like to learn more about these insurance and protections in detail, I'll put the link in the description below. That way you can read about the ones that are most valuable to you. So should you go out and get this heavy, custom engraved metal card? Of course, that decision is entirely in your hands, but I'll do my best to help guide you to make the best decision for you. You should get this card if you plan to travel at least one time per year. This card is also a great fit for you if you use mobile wallet transactions, want easy, high value rewards, and want one card to cover a lot. Dare I say almost everything. That said, you should not get this card if you don't plan to travel at least once a year, don't use mobile wallets, do want transfer partners like with American Express, Citibank, or Chase where you can actually transfer your points to other programs and convert your points into other air miles or hotel points. US Bank does not have that functionality at the moment. Also don't get this card if you want Chase cards first and that's due to the 524 rule. And as a final point, you must have a prior relationship with US Bank before applying for this card. That means you must have a checking account, a savings account, another credit card, something else, some sort of financial relationship already with US Bank before you submit your application. So as a really helpful hint to you as well, if you like this card, if you wanna go get this card, A, get that existing relationship in place. For example, open up a checking or savings account, wait about 31, 32 days or so, so a full month goes by, then go ahead and apply. And to improve the chances of you getting the approval that you want, I also recommend having no new accounts or inquiries going on your credit report 
for about six months before you apply. Not a hard rule, but again, just to help put the odds in your favor. If you enjoyed this video and believe it could benefit others, then please help me get it in front of more people by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. And now it's your turn. If you could only have one credit card in 2020, which one would it be? I'd love to know. Tell me in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, you are great.